Hey guys, I'm Veronica. I'm Vanessa. And this is a dating show. Very different from what you normally see us do. And I'm going to find my true love. Your perfect match. <laughs> my perfect match. <laughs> so we've gotten a couple boys to come into a house and we're going to have a reality dating, dating show. show. We're going to have the boys do different challenges and I'm just going to get to know them and see who wins my heart. And then we're going to slowly eliminate some guys throughout the week and we'll see who wins. I've been single for three years now and I think it's time to settle down and actually, you know, not just like casually talk to someone, but to find love. So I guess my ideal guy is someone who's smart, athletic, obviously very cute, but in the end, it's really like their heart that speaks more to me. Like if they're kind, if they treat others nicely, and if they treat people with respect, and if they have integrity. I think a big deal breaker for me is someone who doesn't respect my career and that my career is first, always. I think my sister knows me very well to help me pick out the right guy. I'm really excited that she's on the show helping me. Let's do this. First guy. Here we go. Oh. Ooh. Okay, the door is opening. <gasps> oh. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> He's cute. I no. like his shirt. It's just gray. I don't know. I just. <laughs> oh, oh, guy too. There's just. Ooh. <laughs> He's cute. <laughs> no way. I like his jacket. <laughs> well, oh. Why did he do that? <laughs> is he a dancer? I like his hair too. <laughs> <laughs> he seems He's good. got a dimple. Ooh, I see. <laughs> He's oh, really he smart. Cute. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh. It's a pretty good option. Here's Hello. another guy. What does he do? He's an editor. Does he edit YouTube videos? He does. He reminds me of like Taylor Lautner, kind of. <laughs> oh. This house is ridiculous. Like, I've never been in anything like this. Where are you from? <laughs> Oh, I'm from Florida, sorry. Yeah. Oh, let's go. Ooh, I love tattoos. I don't see. No way this guy's really cute. <laughs> I feel like there was just a bunch of tension that just built up just now. I know. As soon as he walked he in. He didn't even say hi to anyone. Can, oh, there's another guy. Ooh, his arms. Arms are a weakness of mine. I feel weird judging these boys based I know, off their looks, too. right? Like off the bat. I want to like get to know these guys. And then the next guy, Alex. <laughs> what is that? What is Alex here? I am about to compete with all these dudes for Nessa's part. Vanessa and Veronica don't know I'm coming, but I'm coming. Because they know that the Wasabian family and the Twinner family all ship you guys. So let's see if you, there's something there. Okay, so what do you oh. think? Overall thoughts. I think we just gotta see who's going to be the best one. Gotta get to know them. Let them do the challenges. Luckily, right off the bat, somebody cracked a joke and we all started palling around. There are a bunch of dudes looking at me like competition. Yeah. I'm kind of like, have my eye on a few of them, you know. They might act nice, but we'll, we'll see later on how the true colors show. Shall we go meet them? Meet them? Okay. Hey guys! Hey. Hey. Welcome! This is gonna be such a fun week. I hope you guys are excited. Super yeah. excited. Yeah. Well, I'm Veronica. You guys are gonna be trying to win the heart of my identical twin sister, Vanessa, so why don't we meet her? I couldn't have pictured a, a better girl to come walking down that stairs. There's two of them, and they are the cutest and sweetest girls ever, and I'm really excited to get to know them. Vanessa is honestly gorgeous, and I could definitely see me uh, talking to her more and uh, seeing where it goes. They honestly gave me a very like good first impression. I don't know if it's their smiles, but they look very 
like genuine, like nice people. We're going to be playing a game to get to know you guys right off the bat. We're going to be playing Never Have I Ever. I've played this game before and it can get quite revealing. I'm going to ask you questions and you guys raise your hand if you have and if you haven't just keep it down. So these are kind of simple questions. Um, never have I ever cheated on a test. Wait, so we raise our hand if you have it? I knew everyone here would forget that. Yeah, I did. Raise your hand if you have. Am I supposed to play? Yeah. 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 <laughs> 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 what about Matt? Dude, he's an angel in the crowd. Yeah, so he's not with the leather jacket on. Seriously. Never. Yeah, boy. <laughs> You've never cheated in your Bro, life. Bro, he's got Not even on homework. Come on, Matt. When you were in third grade, you looked over it. <laughs> Have I cheated on a test? I don't think so. Here's a risque one. Never have I ever skinny dipped. All right. So All the Florida kids. Yeah, Florida kids. A lot of Florida people, so like shout out Florida. And I am not from Florida, thank God. Okay, never have I ever broken a bone. Oh, no. What did you break? I broke my hip, my elbow, and my ankle before. Oh my yeah. Back in my sixth grade, when I was a cool skater boy, I shattered my wrist in five pieces. Never skated again. Never have I ever gotten a tattoo. There we go. Oh. What do you have? I have so many. Like I just say I have this. Which one, which, which one would you keep though? If you had to keep one. Uh, probably my stomach one. It's like my fist goal. Yeah. That's sick. Whoa. I think Brandon's my biggest competition here. That man has nice hair, nice tattoos. He was just like, and I was like, oh, okay. Brandon had to lift his shirt and show his tattoos. Never have I ever been cheated on. Yeah. As far as I know. I've been uh, hurt in my past before. I've been cheated on twice, so it makes me keep my guard up just a little bit more. Never have I ever been in a talent show. Oh, I have, yeah. Okay, well that's perfect because it leads into Should the next I? thing that we're gonna do. We're gonna be doing a talent show. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so the talent show is gonna be where you guys showcase us something that you have a talent of. Oh, what? Um. That's whack, like they sprung it on us so quick and I'm not very talented, so fingers crossed it goes well. We'll give you about like 30 minutes just to like think about it or like to prepare. Talent show, I'm ready, I'm prepared, and I'm gonna win it. I have no clue what to do. You, you come with me for a second. Okay. Oh, whoa. All right, so Alex is here and it's funny, but like the first chance I get to pull him aside and talk to him, I'm gonna take it because like, why is he here? That boy, oh my gosh. I love Alex, but I've been friends with him for years. So I know the path to Nessa's heart. I think I got it. I think okay. we've been friends for a while. Do you have a talent? Are you ready for the talent show? I have no talents. It seems a little odd that Alex Wasabi knows the twins. It seems like it's kind of, you know, an unfair advantage. I mean, I just gotta play my cards right, and you know, competition for me, not for them. So right now the guys are prepping for the talent show and I'm super nervous. I don't know what they're going to do. Everyone seems so different and I feel like they each have their own different like skills and talent. So I'm really excited to see. I know, you should have seen the look on some of their faces when I said a talent show. Some of them were like, and then some were like, yeah. <laughs> So I saw these guys have been pulling Vanessa to the side. You know, I took that time to perfect my song just to hopefully impress her. And you know, I just hope she likes it because that time I could have spent time talking to her. Talking to Vanessa is going great. And then Brandon just walks in in the middle of it. Meanwhile, I'm having a great conversation and just cuts me off. I need to watch out for that man. Yeah, I pulled her over. I don't, I don't really care. Uh, I'll talk to her any day of the week and I'll pull her away from any of the other guys. How long have you been out here? Two weeks. Two weeks? Yeah. <laughs> Two, Two weeks. weeks? I thought it'd be super funny and a great addition to this show if we brought our dad along. Because we're very family oriented and if the guys don't get along with our dad, it may be a deal breaker. But the catch is the guys don't know he's our dad. Uh, we're pretending that he's our manager. The advice I give to these guys is really, really simple. Don't be a boy, be a man. All right, uh, welcome to the talent show. You guys ready? Yeah. All right. So uh, first up, Tim. Tim, where are you at? Bring it on. 
most people will go like, whoa, that's amazing, because most people can't do it. Timothy was kind of a devastating blow. He came out strong. He kind of took it to the like the next level and he started like slamming his body and spinning all around on the ground. And he had me sold, honestly. Like he's a great dancer. I thought that was really cool. And I have a thing for dancers. Do we have any grapes? Grapes. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh. Alright. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. Wow. Okay. I mean a grape in the mouth, come on. How high do you think that ceiling is? Mm -hmm. Okay, here, three's good. I can do it. You get lost. I believe it. Five floors. Oh. <laughs> He's still going. Oh, right there, right there, yeah, yeah. I ran up the stairs for that. That's impressive as heck, dude. Three, two, one, go. Let's go! Oh! Kind of hoping he'd fail, but like he didn't. <laughs> Talent complete. <laughs> He's a definite ham. Matt is up. I'll let you explain what you're gonna do. So I haven't done a handstand in a while, so there's probably a 50% chance that I'm just gonna fall over. So crossing my fingers and hoping it goes well. Oh! I'm teaching you guys how to do sign language today. <gasps> oh, so yeah, so, uh, oh, oh, oh. back on. So your name, name name is a little I. It is. So then B. B. A. N. E. E. S. A. A. And then we can do one more quick one, so you know. So this is I. Mm -hmm. L, L. And Y. Y. So if you put them together, can you guess what that spells? Oh, I I love you. Christian, you're up, man. Oh, up? Oh, He's gonna be table. making some food. So I made for you some creme brulee. Ooh. And I got, I mean, some people have like um, dairy problems or sugar problems. So I made one regular one and then I made a dairy free one. Just... <laughs> are you, are you like, Yes, I knew it. Oh, <laughs> yes. So creme brulee, you have the custard on the bottom, oh. and then the top is a, a layer of sugar that you oh. melt. You start with the corners and the sides. Mm -hmm. so oh. you, you want to try it? Yeah. Oh. So then again, you start on the sides. I kind of fell in love with him a little bit, because I love creme brulee. Are we done? Woo! <laughs> I'm sure you can win the competition for that. When you break it, like take the bottom of the spoon uh -huh. and then just smack it. Oh! And now you can get in. This makes me so happy. Cecil, so, he's gonna he's written a song for you. So. Uh, all right, so uh, I have to look at the lyrics because I haven't memorized it. Hey Vanessa, how's it like in this sweet city? I hail from the state of sunshine and wow, you are so pretty. <laughs> Did you hear the crazy story? I ended up in Vegas, drove five hours. I think I need some coffee. <laughs> Vanessa. I thought it was a little cheesy and some of it didn't really rhyme. <laughs> Vanessa. Let's go on a date or two. <laughs> hey, Ronnie, you seem cool too. <laughs> This is so sweet. Oh my gosh. I don't know if anyone's ever written a song for me. And he's singing about his journey today. Coming to you and meeting you. And then he threw me in the song. Hey. <laughs> so Alex H is going to talk to us about the doomsday algorithm. Yeah. When I was in statistics class in high school, my professor could, like any day, any year, he could tell you what day of the week it was. So I'm gonna try and do it. It's been a while. I'm not really good at math. It's all in your head. Um, if you want to start with something easy, like your birthday, I could try and tell you what day of the week it was when you were born. Okay. August 6, 1996. Uh, he's like, oh, he's getting fancy. <laughs> okay, he's, like, oh, hey, he's, he's giving you a run for your money. Well, I'm trying to do math. I'm yeah. sorry. <laughs> Tuesday. Tuesday. Yeah! Yeah! 
I'm in, I'll take it. You do it? Yeah, March 28th, 1997. Friday. Friday. Oh! No! <laughs> Alright, no. right, so Zach is going to perform a magic trick. <gasps> Thursday. 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 I haven't done magic in a very long time, but I am going to need somebody's help from the audience. And Preferably, okay. the mind. All right. Um, so, sleight of hand is all about trying to deceive somebody right in front of their eyes, right? But as an added bonus, and hopefully to distract the audience a little bit, I'm gonna do a shirt of this. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> all right. I'm gonna give these cards a quick shuffle so you know that you tamper with them. I was like this. Uh -huh. <laughs> I don't know. And like it made me uncomfortable, but it was also kind of like hot. All in one. So I'm gonna ask you to pick one. Okay. And I would have no idea what this card is. Okay. okay. So I want you to remember it and then show it to the audience. I'll turn my back so I don't see anything. Okay. Okay. So okay. everyone has a general idea of what it is, so I want you to put it back on the top. Okay. And I'm gonna shuffle it back into the day. One, two, three, four, and five. We call that good. I want you to hold out your hand like that. <laughs> hold pretty tight, but not too tight. Okay. Ready? Is that your card? Brandon is going to try to beat a world record. This is two pounds of yogurt. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's really dense. <laughs> Record's 40 seconds for a pound and a half. This is two pounds, so. Okay. Honestly, I might break the world record because I've tried it at home once, so why wouldn't I do it for everyone like here? There it is. Oh, he's getting oh. Oh. Oh, like, oh my gosh, he's doing it. Uh, he loves yogurt. <laughs> oh, we, is that his oh, got it. Oh, got it. Oh, got it. Chugging yogurt. Pretty disgusting. Yogurt man! Yogurt man! Woo! He got it at 24.8 seconds. I'm gonna tell my kids about this, man. Seriously. Oh, that's a good one. It wasn't planned. Uh, she just, she just kind of did that. Yeah, Brandon had some yogurt on his face, so I just wipe it off a little. All the guys got really jealous. All right, guys, we're gonna pick the MVP of this challenge, and we'll get back to you guys. All right, let's All right. go. How are you feeling? Dude, I don't know. This it is was, pretty hard. It was, it's so hard to pick someone who stole my heart because everyone brought something completely different to the table and I don't know, I don't know. Well, I don't know what to pick. Well, I know who to choose for MVP because they won my heart. <laughs> oh man. But little do the guys know is that we're choosing an MVP, the winner of the whole challenge, and then we're choosing someone who stole Nesta's heart, who gets to go on a date with just her. Ooh. I see everybody here has a little bit of talent. The competition has been raised. All these talented guys with muscles and stuff, I think I'm gonna go home. Zach came out with a magic trick and he took off his shirt. And I was like, that's smooth, like. I mean, I don't want to talk bad on anybody. I think it's an even playing field. Everybody had a good talent, so we're sitting here having a good time. I was like, I'm gonna teach you how to cook, but it's pre-made. <laughs> oh. Whoa, Whoa, dude, it was pre-made. Trevor Lay is a delicacy, you don't just whip it up. Christian's talent, I for sure think it was a little cheesy. Um, I think it was incredible, because I cannot make creme brulee. Oh, yeah, okay, awesome. so from their reactions, who do you think is gonna be? From their they reactions. They were super impressed with the magic trick. Yeah, yeah. only after and it was then, done, though. And then you're silently with they're really into that. Yep. And then my uh, great thing, I feel like you guys are more. I was high on that. So <laughs> 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 I think the fact that he knows the twins is almost to my advantage because they haven't really gotten to realize how neat I am yet, and he's old news. So. Uh, so if you guys need anything, I got some answers. Oh, but okay. I, I might, might be lying. I to you might have to get your number. Yeah, it's competition yeah. still. I might be lying to you, but you never know. Here's the thing, so I've talked to so many guys already, but there's two who I haven't talked to yet, and it's Cecil, Cecil and, and Timothy. Timothy. Cecil is the one who wrote a song for her, uh -huh. and, and Timothy, Timothy was the dancer, and I love dancers. 
Yeah, they've been gone for a while. Wait a minute, so oh, is, no. is somebody about to go home right now? Like, wait, they're about to be... Uh, right oh, now? No, 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 they're going to be the MVP. MVP. Oh, here they come, here they come. Whoa! Oh, no. Oh, All right. No. Okay. Yeah, so we had some time to discuss. I do want to remind you guys that this is a dating show. So two of you are going to be eliminated later tonight. Uh, oh. But but there is an MVP, and whoever the MVP is doesn't have any chance of getting eliminated. So they're safe. We were very impressed by all of you guys. It was honestly really hard to decide who to pick for the MVP. Uh, but for this talent show was Christian. Oh, yeah. 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 Very good. Yes. We, we were very impressed. You were very prepared. I mean, you brought us creme brulee and it was delicious. Uh, you got me with the dairy-free one. <laughs> So, I'm so yeah. glad I did that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was it was great. So congratulations. I'm not going home. I'm safe. I'm excited. This is great. I'm in a good spot. Veronica told me that she liked dancers, so I was like, I got in this bag, and then when she announced it, I was kind of like heartbroken. There's also another winner. Oh. Whoa. Yeah. Okay. And you don't um, say. this winner is the one who won my heart for the competition oh. or the and throughout the day. Show. I really enjoyed his talent, and that's Timothy. I, I love dancers, so you won my heart. A little do you guys know that you guys are gonna get to have a one-on-one -on -one date tonight. Just you two, and you guys can get to know each other a little bit more. There was a surprise winner, and that was my boy, Timothy. I guess I'm happy for him, but it should have been me. Honestly, I find it kind of ridiculous that I didn't win. I'm speechless, like, I don't really even know what to say right now, but I'm excited to go on a date with Vanessa and hopefully everything goes well. <gasps> no way! Oh my gosh! Look! I'm confused. Like, is this our date? Oh! <laughs> I didn't see it at first. <laughs> I was like, It's a four. I know. Let's go in. Yep. Oh, look, a laptop. I think they're nervous. Like, you seemed kind of, I don't know, like all giggly and she was all giggly. You know when they're giggly, that's when they're like nervous. So how, how did you get into dancing? Oh. When I was young, I watched the movie You Got Served. Mm -hmm. And then that like inspired me to dance. And then like, and watch the movie over and over, like pause and be like, Oh, I'm gonna try to do that move. And then that's basically what I did. I used to be really competitive. Like I used mm -hmm. to compete in competitions, do performances. No way, that's then, really cool. I cheered in high school and oh, stuff. Mm -hmm. So I can do like... <laughs> the Fortnite? <laughs> Fortnite? It looked like you were doing the Fortnite. Yeah. That one? Yeah. <laughs> I can do that. <laughs> oh my gosh. So do you dance at all? I can twerk. <laughs> <laughs> Instantly, I felt like we had a little spark there, you know, a little connection, so that's a good sign. And so what are you looking for <laughs> in a guy? I don't know, someone who's just normal. Mm -hmm. You know, someone who lives a normal life and not involved with the Hollywood lifestyle, yeah. you know. I like someone who, who's, who doesn't really like social media. What's your favorite movie? Well, I have two favorite movies, but one is um, uh, Monty Python and the Holy Grail. I don't know, you've probably mm -hmm. never seen that. It's okay, it's like a cult classic thing. Mm -hmm. But then I really loved an anime movie called Your Name, and Your it's name? really cool. The guy, he switches bodies yeah, with the girl. Yeah, with the girl. <laughs> that movie's like one of my favorites too. Me too. The movie's so good. Oh my gosh, <laughs> so much tea. So, the movie I picked for them to watch is Your Name, and I just learned that it's a his favorite anime movie too, and it's her favorite. This is kind of epic. Well, let's watch this movie and let's see what my sister picked for us to watch. <gasps> Wait, it's your... <laughs> really? It's your name. Does she know that's your favorite movie? Yeah, it's actually my wallpaper on my phone. A good guy is like when they like, it's an even conversation. Like they ask you questions and you ask them questions. And it seems like that's, what hap that's what's happening so far. Wow, I really chose the right person for that. Because we, well, we also talked about anime 
and just like uh, life and like his past relationship and just like his view on like LA and people and stuff and I don't know, he was really, really sweet. I'm sure we have a lot more in common, but you know, I'll find that out on other dates because I'm about to try to win as much MVPs as possible. No, it definitely went very well. I, I think he's a good candidate. Candidate. Date. Candidate? You could Is say that no. a pun? <laughs> okay, so we're going to figure out who we think should be eliminated and we're gonna cry and feel bad about it, but we'll see you guys at elimination time. Everyone seems pretty nervous. Yeah, being in this elimination room really puts it into perspective that this is a speed dating show and it happens like that. And I hope I made an impression. There's no way, I'm safe. So unfortunately, it is time for the elimination process. We're so sad to see two of you guys go, but it's been such a fun day getting to know you guys. We're going to have three people come down and be in the bottom three. But I will say Christian is safe because he won the MVP for the talent show. Tim is also safe because he had the one-on-one -on -one date. So you guys don't have anything to worry about. <laughs> All right. So the first person down to the piano, Matt. The second person, Alex Wait, Wasabi. What? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, wow. yeah. Are you not feeling what I felt? I can't believe she did this to me after all we've been through. I'm her fake ex-boyfriend. The third person is... Veronica, I'm gonna have to volunteer myself as a third person. Unfortunately, I came to LA for acting and I found out earlier today that I have a big gig and they can't have any other days. So I really did come to the show thinking I was ready for love. But right now, I just gotta focus on my career, so I'm really sorry. And I really appreciate being here, but it just isn't the time oh for me. Gosh. Sorry. We okay. respect yeah. that. Careers first. That's good. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I got respect for Jay over here, because honestly, like, business move, but I don't know if I could do the same. Like, after meeting Vanessa, I, I wouldn't want to leave. Okay, what a twist. <laughs> okay. The vibe in the room is, like, very tense, tense and things are getting a little. Awkward. Interesting and awkward. <laughs> okay, so your yeah. Jay is unfortunately eliminated. One less down for me. I mean, thank you, Jay, I guess. <laughs> and Alex, it's been fun to have you here too. And oh, I know. you know, hang out. <laughs> One of you guys have to go. And that person who's gonna be eliminated Sorry, is man. Alex. What? Sorry, man. Come on! <laughs> what about our history together? I'm... Alex Wasabi, friend zoned? Sorry, man. You don't date your friends often, and I didn't see it, and I was right. I thought we had chemistry. Well, wow. <laughs> I, think, I think we're just good as friends. Eliminating Alex was like a no-brainer. I was like, bye, he has to go, because I know him. I want to give the other boys a chance, you know? he can. Get in line for later on. <laughs> but like, I want to get to know everyone else oh. and have. <laughs> okay. Am I really... I'm misreading the signal. I thought. <laughs> Why she... are you trying to kiss me? Like, no, please don't. <laughs> okay, you can go. Dude, you cannot just go in for a kiss like that. That made the room awkward. And Bye, Alex. Alex. Yeah, Alex. Was oh, I'm so sorry. It was really great to get to know you. At the end of the day, it's really awesome how Veronica and Vanessa understand just what it means to be a career-oriented type of person. And for them to appreciate and understand that just really means a lot to me. I'm out of here, guys. But words of advice, keep your head in the game. Because I did not think I was going home today. So Matt, that means you are safe and you can rejoin the group on the stairs. Yay! Thank you. Oh my gosh. OK, that was so close. From now, I need to just not be so in the background all the time. I think I need to put myself out there more so she sees me. So I didn't eliminate Matt because I feel like he, I want to give him another chance to, I don't know, break out of his shy shell. Like, I, I know what it's like to be in a position where you don't know anyone and you're in, you feel awkward. And 
I think everyone deserves like second chances. Hope you guys had a fun first day. You guys need to get a lot of rest because tomorrow is gonna be very busy and full of a lot of exciting and fun things. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Yeah. Tomorrow kind of scares me a little bit. I thought I had today in the bag and I was definitely taken down a peg. So I'm gonna bring my A game and see if I can't rise the ladder a little bit. Yeah, I'm really excited to see what tomorrow brings. I hopefully we have like some physical activity, like maybe something in teams, that'd be really fun. Now that we have eliminated two guys, comment down below who you think is going to steal Nessa's heart in the next episode. Make sure to turn on the bell button to get notified when the next episode comes out because I promise you, you're not gonna wanna miss it. And give this video a big thumbs up for love. And subscribe to Awesomeness TV. While you're at it, subscribe to our channel too. And we'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye. Every time he's talked to me, he's really sweet. I'm getting mesmerized by him. I'm really surprised by Christian. Tension's palpable right now. I didn't expect him to call me out like that, especially in front of all the guys. And we just won't it's discuss anything. It's a competition anything. at the end of the day, bro. Yeah. Well, like, you know. it may have seemed like I was calling you out in front of everyone, but I had to make a point.